Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Corsa Hydro Series H100 water cooler. This is the top of the line water cooler from Corsair and this one should offer great cooling performance for the enthusiast. Here's the box and it isn't the smallest. Again this is the Corsair Hydro Series H100 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. And I have to say right off the bat the box looks very beautiful and down here is a little picture of the cooler itself. These are the supported sockets, but don't worry, we'll get to that in a moment. On the back of the box you basically get the description in different languages and up there you get a preview on the cooling performance compared with other Corsi units and the stock CPU cooler. Now on this side there are some specifications in different languages. And again, the whole box looks just fantastic if that matters. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Right on top you get that orange stop note. Corsa basically wants you to use their RMA service instead of returning this product to the store. Then there's a little booklet called Corsa Solutions Guide 2010 and it looks like they just want you to buy more Corsa products. Now this is very important, this is the installation guide of the water cooler. Make sure to read and look at it carefully before trying to blindly install the cooler into your system. But now let's get to the actual package. In this bag are the mounting brackets. This one is the Intel bracket and the other one AMD. Both brackets look very robust and they are made out of metal, I like that. Then here are all the screws and standoffs you would need. Of course this unit also comes with two fans. These are two black 120mm Corsair fans, but to be honest they look a little cheap. A 3 pin fan connector is used and what I really like is that the cable itself is not sleeved, but entirely black. That's very beautiful. And last but not least the water cooler itself. As you can see a standard sized dual radiator is used and it looks pretty good and should fit in lots of cases. On the other end is the angular shaped pump. Thermal paste comes reapplied already but I'd recommend taking this off because afterwards you will have to clean up a horrible mess because this is too much paste. As for the tubes Corsi decided to go with some kind of hard plastic and the flexibility of course suffers a little bit because of that but still you can move it around without any problems. The end that leads into the radiator seems to be pretty good and on the other side into the pump it's also mounted very nicely. To adjust the position you could also turn these around, I like that. Here's the pump and fan controller at the same time. Obviously this is an angular shaped pump and I love that. By pressing this button here you can basically choose how fast the fans are spinning. The presets go from silent, medium to extreme. Up here are two 4 pin fan headers on each side. So you get a total of 4 4 pin headers. If you'd like, you could run a push-pull configuration controlled by the H100 pump fan controller. To power up the pump and the fan controller, you will have to connect this Molex connector to your power supply and this 3-pin CPU fan connector to your CPU fan header on your motherboard. I like the fact that the cables and the plastic are all black, so this makes a good impression and you could hide it easier in your case. Now, once I've mounted the fans onto the radiator, the water cooler looks more complete now. And the design, wow, it looks great. Mounting the fans onto the radiator was no problem at all and just so you know there's absolutely no spacing between these two fans so that's just a standard radiator. As you can see I've plugged in the two fans to the fan controller on the pump. On the other side is the Corsa link connection. The size of the cooler is pretty much standard and as long as your computer case supports dual radiators there should be no problem fitting this cooler. Here are the two connections you have to make again, the Molex and the 3 pin fan connector. Good, but now before we continue, let's take a look at the specifications. The Corsair Hydro Sears H100 uses copper as the cool plate material. The radiator dimensions are 275 by 122 by 27 millimeters. These are 10.83 by 4.8 by 1.06 inches. Two 120 millimeter fans are included. This water cooler supports the following sockets at the time of this video. Intel LGA 2011. LJ1366, LJ1155 and 1156, AMD AM3 Plus AM3, AM2 Plus slash AM2 and lastly FM1. Alright, once you've installed this water cooler into your machine, your system will make a very elegant impression especially if you're coming from air cooling. Since the cooler is all black it will pretty much fit with every single color scheme and that's good. As you all know I'm a big fan of angular shaped things and therefore the pump looks fantastic. Hiding the cables was no problem at all. As you can see I've also routed the ATX 12V 8 pin power connector through the back of the case and through the hole on the top left hand corner. The cooler fitted perfectly in my case and I'm using the Thermaltic Armor Rebuff Black full tower case and I've also reviewed that one if you're interested. 
Obviously, you see, high profile memory is no problem here, but let's be honest, that's worth every water cooler and that's nothing special here. But yeah, it makes a good impression to me. I'm running this at the extreme preset as you can see. The cables can be hidden very easily and the radiator with the fans fitted in my case without any problems. But the fans are not the quietest on the market, that's for sure. But I don't care so much for fan noise. As you can see, I decided to have the tubes on the right side because that way it looks more elegant to me. But you could of course also turn the radiator around and therefore you would have the tubes on the left. The tubes also seem to be fairly robust. All in all, it looks great for the eye, but how about the performance? Well, let's take a look at the temperatures then, but before I can show you that, here's my test system. As you can see, I'll be cooling down the Intel Core i7-3770K CPU that is running at stock speeds, so nothing is overclocked. On idle I get 25 degrees Celsius, which are 77 degrees Fahrenheit. While on load, I was able to cool the CPU down to 65 degrees Celsius and that are 149 degrees Fahrenheit. The ambient room temperature was at 20 degrees Celsius, which are 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So I really have nothing to complain. The temperature results seem to be very good and 65 degrees is not hot at all for an i7 3770K at stock. So you definitely have overclocking headroom there. The fans are a little louder than the ones on the other units, but for me it's perfectly fine. The Corsa Hydra Series H100 is a great choice for enthusiasts that are looking for a good pre-filled water cooler. The cooling performance is very good and there's no pump noise at all. That's amazing, but I should also not forget to mention that this is the second H100 unit. I had to return the first one because it was making a really terrible rattling noise and one of the fans was also making some kind of grinding noise. The third problem was the fan controller, it wasn't working at all. So I don't know, you could maybe also end up with a defect unit or not. It can all differ from unit to unit. But I have to judge the second one, which is working just perfectly. The fans can be a little louder than most of the other units, but again, for me, it's perfectly fine. The design is very good for my taste, especially with that beautiful angular shaped pump. But this is a thing of taste actually. Many people like circular shaped pumps more. But if it comes down to the looks, I definitely go with an angular shaped one. The overall build quality doesn't seem to be all that bad and Corsa backs this up with a 5 year warranty. Very nice. Pros are good price performance ratio, then there's the fantastic design, the flexible hard plastic tubes, what really stands out are the robust metal mounting brackets. Also this cooler should fit in most computer cases that support dual radiators. For the cons I can only say the fans can be loud to some people but not for me. And that's why I give this water cooler a 10 out of 10 and I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.